Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mrs. Buitenbeentje. This is what happened to my fall fashion mood board. There is one skirt on there that I completely messed up. Then I was browsing on Instagram and I saw So My View Challenge of October. On there was the Citrus Dress by Mood Society or Mood Pattern. And so I ended up making that which was last month's challenge. So the citrus dress is a beautiful, beautiful shredded dress. And it is very versatile. The fabric recommendations are a wool rib knit, pique, ponty, or velour. All of them are knit, so it has to be stretchy fabric. The pattern is free 99. <laughs> So you just, the only thing what you need is a email address. You can go on to the Mood um, website, the Mood Fabric website. I'm going to put the link down below. It will take you straight to the Citrus Dress. You just enter your name and your email and you will find it in your mailbox. The pattern pieces, it's the front and the back, the sleeves, the collar, as well as the button it. The only thing that I have to note is that the pattern was really really wide everywhere so I needed to, to take it in some. The fabric that I used, of course, this fabric right here, it's a rib fabric jeans or a jeans collar. Uh, it is beautiful. I bought two and a half meters but I still have mighty much left and so of course, this is going to be something else. I don't want to take any credit because I did not write this. I followed the instruction, which you're going to do as well. I counted seven steps to success. So you start off with attaching the placket, the button placket, the fake button placket to the front, to the front of the dress. And the next part is you gotta attach the front to the back at the shoulder seams. So then you just make sure that your placket is wedged between the two seams. You close the inside part of the sleeve. Or what you can do is that you make sure that you attach the shoulder like uh, to the front and the back. So you just pin it and then you um, sew it. And then you just sew in one go from this hem all the way to the bottom. Just depends what your preference is. I mean, the blog is just telling you to sew this part right here from the, from the sleeve and then you add it to the dress. And to be honest, the uh, instruction is really concise. You have to have a little bit of know-how to figure it out. Of course, if you close the seam of the sleeve first, then you gotta make sure that you close the side seam as well. Then you have this part, which is the collar. You gotta make sure that you sew the longest part of the collar and then you will fold it and then right underneath here, that's where you sew on this dress right here. And the last step is making sure you hem the sleeves as well as the lower part of your, of your dress and you're done. It's really, really easy. And to be honest, this dress is everything. I'm going to just insert some pictures of me just strutting my stuff in the park somewhere. As always, I enjoy making this video. I hope you enjoy watching. Don't be afraid to comment down below if you have any questions or just want to say hey. And you have a great, great day. Bye!